Hi everyone, so I wanted to do a quick video, really quick, hopefully this is really quick, hopefully under five minutes, just explaining why I'm trying to cut back on dairy. On my previous grocery haul I had a lot of people ask me why and also leave me comments like you do realise dairy, um, yoghurt is a dairy product and obviously I know that, um, but the only reason why I'm trying to cut back on dairy, and I have mentioned previously in um, Day in Life, stuff like that. But yeah, the main reason um, I've said previously why I kind of need to cut out dairy is because of my migraines. And when I went to the doctor a good month, two months ago now, feels like ages ago, he basically told me to write a food diary and I've actually been doing quite well on like, writing down a food diary and seeing actually what triggers my migraines. I know I have hormonal migraines, I know that. But I wanted to see whether it was food related because a lot of people have like food related migraines um, and I definitely have hormonal migraines which I usually have like one or two just before I'm due on but I also have a hunger migraine. Um, if I get too hungry like I haven't eaten in ages like I kind of, I always say that my brain needs food. If, if I'm really hungry I literally feel like my body's shutting down, like my brain's shutting down. I get a bit dizzy and I feel really lightheaded, and sometimes that can bring on a migraine. So I definitely have the hunger migraines as well. And then I've also, doing a food diary, I've realized that actually have either macaroni cheese or yogurt, not necessarily every single time, but I've noticed it is a bit of a trigger for me. That's the only food I can see that could influence this like mini headache or migraine coming along. So that's why I'm trying to, i say drop it, but I'm actually just trying to reduce it. Because I don't know if I could fully cut it out. Maybe I could in the future if I slowly wean myself. But right now I'm just trying to cut back. As you saw, I bought yoghurt. I absolutely love yoghurt and I think that's probably the hardest thing for me to cut out. Um, there isn't really any dairy, non-dairy alternatives to yoghurt over here. I think they do have quite a few in the States because I've seen them by, um, I can't remember what brand it is, but it's basically like a coconut yogurt. And we do have some sort of coconut yogurt over here. I have yet to try it. It's extremely expensive. You get like the tiniest like tub like this for like two pounds, which is overly expensive, especially as I love yogurt. And obviously it's definitely not going to taste the same as my Yeo Valley yogurt that I love. Um, so that's definitely going to be a tough one to cut back on. Having said that, I don't necessarily eat a lot of yoghurt a week. They do have quite a long um, shelf life. Once you opened it, they say you use it between three and five days. And that's, that's quite good. I mean, the pot's not massive. Um, but yeah, that's definitely one thing I think I'm going to find hard for a dairy alternative. If anyone has any ideas or anything um, for yoghurts, butters, milks, let me know. I did have a comment about soy milk and with like links below and I have read through them and it was quite shocking actually um, at why you shouldn't really drink or consume soy products. Whether or not all those um, sort of, I don't know, the research is true because you don't actually like really truly know if every single bit of research is true. Um, it's quite shocking though and I will actually leave them linked below. Um, I have yet to try the soy milk and I don't know whether I will now actually, which sounds a bit silly, but um, I don't know. So yeah, if you have any other non-dairy alternatives, just let me know. Um, you know, I'm always open to new things and um, as long as it's not stupidly overpriced. I've tried rice milk before, I think it's the sugar content that, took, that put me off. I think I've tried the OT drink as well. I just find them really sweet and I don't like sweet. I, I mean, I don't find cow's milk sweet, so I just would rather not have a sweeter alternative. I usually go for unsweetened. It just is better for you anyway without all the sugars. Um, another reason, quickly, why I'm limiting my dairy intake is because um, it's better for my acne. Um, you know I suffer with bad skin and since cutting back actually my skin is so much better and a lot of you have mentioned my skin is better and it really really is and I, I 
totally believe it's all about cutting back on my dairy. I've actually read up on it as well and I'll leave it linked below if you fancy having a read at why um, it's good because apparently dairy really um, aggravates acne and yeah so that is a kind of a really good um, other reason why to cut back dairy for me. That's just a little insight on why I'm cutting back hopefully in the future we'll be completely dairy free. So I hope you enjoyed this video and if you've got any comments, links, questions, definitely check out the links below and I will see you all soon.